poor boy. often get asked about these vertical stripes at uh, certain places in the Yakima River Canyon. These vertical black streaks. If you go over there and hike and look carefully at those things, it's a bunch of rubble. It's a bunch of basalt blocks. Kind of a scree slope or a talus slope, but it's not just a normal talus slope. It's this strange striping stone stripes, some people call them. Uh, I don't have a great explanation. In other words, my answer is usually unsatisfying to the person who's asking. But I can say that I learned from Jack Powell, local geologist here for a long time, that those stone stripes are always in an entablature zone within a basalt lava flow. Entablature is the middle part of a lava flow that's heavily fractured. And so there's a bunch of these little pieces of basalt that erode out of the entablature of the flow. And then the slopes are steep enough that gravity and maybe some, I don't know, thunderstorms occasionally uh, concentrate some of those in those vertical patterns. but. It's so common, it's so regular, you'd think there's more of an explanation than that. That's all I have for you. Uh, right here, you might be able to see something different. These are a bunch of columns of basalt that are lying horizontally. Not vertical columns, but horizontal. And they're all like Tootsie Rolls packed together, or pencils packed together, and you're looking at the erasers of the pencils. I wish I could zoom for you. You know what? I can zoom for you. I'm not live streaming. Forgot I could do that. Come on, Gizmo. Yeah, that's as much as I can zoom, but maybe you can see these individual columns now lying like cordwood out of the side of the hill. So there's something local going on there. The bedrock layers are relatively horizontal here. There's a slight dip, but they're relatively horizontal. So there's occasional places where you can get layers contorted, probably when the lavas are in place to make those uh, horizontal columns. And then the other thing I wanted to show you here, you notice we have pretty straightforward bedrock layering here. Up here, straightforward bedrock layering. But there's this blonde thing here. That's a landslide. This whole area, it's like grab it right here. This whole area, this blonde area used to be up on top and has slid down at some time in the past. I have no real way to, ac to accurately date that landslide. And it's one of hundreds of landslides that are in this Yakima River Canyon. But the light is good right now uh, to see the extent of that landslide.
not true. July 11th. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Yakima River Canyon, just south of Ellensburg, Washington, USA. I'm glad you could join us. There's a short little video from the field, just as the sun is coming up on Saturday morning, July 11th, 2020. And in the trees there, and you can see the river, can't you, in a couple places, is the Yakima River. And this little shot with some nice shadows gives us a sense of the curvy nature, the exotic curvy nature of the Yakima River, a meandering river system that predates the topography, that predates the ridges that exist here. In fact, let me get it. That's a gizmo. That's a nice shot right there. So you see this carpet of green uh, right there. And here's the carpet of green going right into my ear. And if I swing over this way, there it is again, down in the shadows. So if you get on Google Maps, you're unfamiliar with central Washington, but damn, that river, sorry Patrick, damn, that river really does some crazy turns to it. I wonder why. And if you go into that question thinking that these ridges here, these beautiful 1,000 foot high basalt ridges. If you go into that assuming that those ridges have always been there, like the Native Americans did, by the way, then you come up with some pretty uh, creative ways to explain why the river was successful in blasting through each of those ridges. I don't know. Were the ridges, did they have weak spots? Is there some soft? sand or something in the ridges that the river took advantage of. But it turns out that when you travel the world and you look at all of these meandering river canyons that carve directly through major geologic structures like anticlines and synclines, then you realize the premise is wrong. The premise that the ridges have always been there is wrong. And then in fact, like here at the Yakima River Canyon, the river was here first, and the ridges started to grow after the river got established. And you're like, oh, did that happen last Tuesday? No. Uh, before Abraham Lincoln? Yes. We have decent dates on this now by studying the ages of lava flows, the ages of faults, therefore, the ages of folds, and when the folds got established here in central Washington, this is something called the Yakima Fold and Thrust Belt. And the basic message is, this Yakima River got set up sometime before 12 million years ago. I almost said 13, I guess 12, 12 million years is when the Yakima River finally got established in this curvy nature here. And then Manashtash Ridge, Umtanum Ridge, Atanum Ridge, Horse Heaven Hills, Toppenish Ridge, a bunch of these ridges that many of us know here in central Washington got established gradually over the last 12 million years. 